What's good YouTube? In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to turn off your iPhone without using the physical power button. If you find this kind of content helpful, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. So this will work for the iPhone 13, the iPhone 12, the iPhone 11, and most newer versions of the iPhone. Sometimes your iPhone power button is not accessible or it might be damaged or simply not working. The iPhone power button is really important as it's used for several key functions on your iPhone, including waking from sleep, turning off and on your iPhone, and several other functions that involve some other physical buttons. So for whatever reason, if your iPhone power button is not working there's a few workarounds where you can get a virtual button working on your iPhone so you can combine it with some of the other features that might still be working on your iPhone like the volume rocker so what you want to do here is head over into your settings app settings you want to head over to accessibility and then from accessibility you want to head over to touch and then you want to look at the top option available at the top of touch which is assistive touch assistive touch allows you to use your iphone if you have difficulty touching the screen or if you have an adaptive accessory as well and it also has some several key features that make it possible for a workaround for a power button that's not working so there's actually kind of a trick here in order to work around the physical power button. If you go into the default menu on Assistive Touch, you'll see an option called Device. Hit Device and you'll see several features. Lock screen, rotate screen, unmute, volume up, and volume down. So, if you hit the lock screen, you'll notice that your, your iPhone goes back to lock screen, which is the same function that would have occurred if you are using the power button. So what you want to do now is actually hit the virtual lock screen button in the assistive touch menu and also hold down on the up volume rocker. Up volume rocker and the power button is the normal shortcut of powering off your iPhone. So if you do this with the virtual button on the assistive touch menu and the actual physical volume rocker, you'll notice that you'll be taken to the power off menu on the iPhone. It's quite trippy as the assistive touch option isn't listed as power, but it essentially calls for the same thing in the iOS software. So once again, in order to power off your iPhone or use your iPhone power button when it's not working, you want to go into the assistive touch menu, hold down lock screen and hold up the up volume rocker on the iPhone and you'll be taken to the power off menu on your iPhone. So there you have it everyone, just a quick workaround to turn off your iPhone without using the physical power button. If you found this kind of content helpful, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.